Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use the definition of now sequence to prove that the sequence a n, which is minus 1 power n plus 1 over square root n plus 5, is now. To do this, we need to recall what is the definition of now sequence. Okay, so in the PowerPoint slide, on taken from David Brandon text page 43, we say that a sequence is now sequence is each for for each positive epsilon greater than zero. For each positive epsilon, there is a number x such that absolute value of a n less than epsilon for all n greater than x. Okay, so let's look at how we solve this problem. First, we need the absolute value of a n first. So absolute value of a n less than epsilon. Now when we take absolute value of an, we know we can ignore the minus sign. This is equivalent to 1 over square root n plus 5 less than epsilon. Knowing that absolute value of an is square root n, 1 over square root n plus 5. Now because both number, number on the left side and number on the right side are positive, so we have for epsilon greater than zero. We can turn it upside down by using reciprocal rule. So square root n plus five, one over epsilon, and the inequality will reverse by reciprocal rule, right? Since epsilon greater than zero and one over square root n plus five greater than zero by reciprocal rule of number. Now you make n the subject, so square root of n is greater than 1 over epsilon minus 5. And now we're going to square both sides. Now to square both sides, the inequality already means only when both terms are positive. That means that you must assume that, assume that the right hand side now is 1 over epsilon minus 5 is greater than 0. Now this means okay, 1 over epsilon is greater than 5. Epsilon and positive means epsilon is less than 1 over 5. That means that the inequality will work, you can square both sides only for epsilon less than 1 over 5 and greater than 0. So that means that if you square both sides, n will be greater than 1 over epsilon minus 5 square, provided provided epsilon is less than 1 over 5. Therefore, we have found our cell on x now. That means that if epsilon is greater than 0, that means if epsilon is less than 1 over 5 and greater than 0, then Absolute value of a n will less than epsilon if n greater than x. The x now is 1 over epsilon minus 5 squared, right? And that is take x equal to 1 over epsilon minus 5 squared. Alright, so if you look at the PowerPoint slide again, in order to find this, we must have absolute value a n less than epsilon for all n greater than x. The x I have found out for you just now. But that x only works for epsilon less than 1 over 5. Now what happens if epsilon greater than 1 over 5? If epsilon greater than 1 over 5, then what will happen? Then, you look at absolute value of a n now, you'll find that absolute value of a n is equal to 1 over square root n plus 5. Now definitely 1 over square root n plus 5 or less than 1 over 5 since n is number greater than or equal to 1 and definitely this is less than epsilon already for all n. So we can safely say that for epsilon greater than 1 over 5 then absolute value of an less than epsilon if n greater than 0.
right? And equal one, two, three, four, all works. So therefore, you can take x equal to that is take x equal to zero for epsilon greater than one over five. So epsilon less than or equal to one over five, you can do this. Okay, so epsilon less than or equal to one over five, you can you can you can do this. Alright, so now our conclusion is so for all epsilon greater than zero now take x equal to one of all epsilon minus five square if epsilon greater than or equal to less than or equal to one over five and x equal to zero if epsilon greater than one over five. Alright, so this will show that the uh, AN is now now. So this conclude AN is now. Okay, that is the end of the recording. So you did know how we solve this, especially the case that when you square both sides of inequality, special attention needed. Alright? This part, special attention needed. That is the end of recording.